do you live and how old are you? So what is your name and where do you live and how old are you? Um, I'm Christine. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Soviet Republic. But before we start um, this story, um, let me let me apologize to those people who will watch this video because uh, I'm not satisfied with my English and there might be some mistakes. I'm sorry. That's fine. I don't think you need to apologize, but that's okay. So, tell, by the way, are you in your bedroom or where are you? Yeah, in my bedroom. Okay. And what city do you live in? No, I missed another one. What, what did you say? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so tell me your story. Um, I'm going to tell you my story, how Michael Jackson changed my life. I think it's pretty cool and crazy story. Good, okay. I, I, want, I want to hear it. Go ahead. Okay, so my story of Michael Jackson um, started, I think, when I was six or seven years old. Um, one day I was so bored, um, so I decided I will uh, I will just go to listen some CDs, like CDs I never heard before. Uh, I found two CDs uh, with mix of songs from different performers. I started to listen to some songs, but it was just the beginning of songs, and then I played other song, other song, you know, and I. Didn't like any song of it because you know, I was like, oh no, this one is bored, and no, and this this one there is bad voice, bad melody, and then I heard the beginning of the song "Heal the World" by Michael Jackson. Uh, it was a very cool song. Um, I I think I was speechless really. Um, so I it, heard this. It, it was the song "Heal the World." Huh? That's a good yes. song. Yes. Yeah. Very good. And uh, after I heard this song, um, I think I had to play it again and again next to hours because everything about this song was perfect. And this is how I discovered Michael Jackson. This is how Michael Jackson came into my life. Um, uh, in that time, I told him that he's just some good singer, average singer. I didn't know anything about him. Um, I thought he was just a singer with two or three good songs. I really didn't know he was a pop, um, you know. So. And it was because it was maybe because I never heard anything about him before. Uh, it, no, in that time, not everybody had internet and. I didn't have to, and so I couldn't find any information about him, like who he really is and what is his singer career, you know. And uh, two years later, I think it was, yeah, when the problem with our visa family started. You know, in 2003, it was the first time I saw Michael Jackson in television. I never saw him before, like how he looks like, and I still don't know anything about it. But after some time, I mean, soon, um, I had the internet and uh, I downloaded all the songs and all the pictures of him. And you know, the first time when I saw him, he had had handcuffs. You know, and police was around. And I didn't know what was wrong, like what what he did bad. But you know, it was so magical moment to me because I knew he's innocent. I just looked to, to his eyes and I saw his soul, so I didn't need any proof. And I never told he's guilty. You know. So you, you felt you could see his soul and that he had a good soul, right? Yeah, through his eyes. It was, it was amazing. Uh, I, since that moment, I know he will be a special person to me for my life. And so ever since, how has he been special? Does he give you strength? Does he make you want to go on with life? Yeah, sure. 
totally you know um, I watch some of his interviews like very good interview with with Mr. Gerald Gerald Rivera in 2005 when Michael Jackson told about his kids and music and also his music and then told me to go through the rainy days and uh, you know when I'm in very very tough situation or uh, when I'm depressed I just say one very special sentence to me at least in this if Michael Jackson was strong enough to make it through his trial you are strong enough to make it through today you know so it, it always helps me to feel better that's really cool so he really inspired you yeah I yeah. I know how you no told way. Me. <laughs> I know how you told me before that sometimes you would get depressed when kids at school were not nice to you. Is that what yeah. happened to you? Um, just sometimes. But this is, not, this is not the topic I want to talk about. Okay. But I'm so happy to hear that someone like uh, Michael Jackson, who you didn't even know, could inspire you to make you feel good. Yeah. You know, um, I always, I always been dreaming about to meet him and how it would be like. I mean, the meeting, and I would like to tell him special words, you know, and how much he really means to me, and just to tell him how thankful I am because I got uh, hundreds of thousand reasons for that. But unfortunately, he isn't here. And, and when you dream about meeting him, uh, what, what, how does your dream go? Do you like walk up to his door and knock on the door, or does he come to Czechoslovakia, or how do you imagine in your dreams that it happened? Um, to come to Neverland. Is this special? He would, he would come to your room in Czechoslovakia. No, no, no. I mean, I would come to Neverland. I see. And then, uh, and then, how do you imagine he would act? Um, I don't know. I think he would be, uh, he would be happy because uh, he loved, loved, he really loved every everyone. I mean, also his fans. And during the trial in 2005, he wrote a song. Uh, the the name of song is Year Beautiful. It's for every fan of him. But we didn't, we didn't listen to the song yet. Well, what song did you say he wrote in 2005? I don't know. I think You're Beautiful or something like that, dedicated to his fans. Nice. I know his fans meant a lot to him. And I know there are a lot of there are a lot of people apparently like you who have been very inspired by him and and uh, you know some people would say he's like a Jesus Christ person. Some people find strength in Jesus Christ, and some people find strength in other people like Michael Jackson. Would you agree? Um, you know, yeah, because. You know, the name Michael means um, similar to God, but Michael Jackson didn't feel like God. He just said he wants to do similar things, you know, like to help people, to help kids and everybody who needs his help. That's what he always wanted. I know he used to read the Bible. Nice. And uh, so what do you do now uh, with your life? Are you a student now or are you working or what's going on? Mm, yes, yeah, still a student in high school and um, after high school I will try to continue this legacy to help people. Huh, so you, you want to get a job to help people. Do you know what type of job it might be? Yeah, but I don't, I don't want to say it's still secrets for everybody. Okay, well you're certainly entitled to keep your secrets. Well, very yeah. good, uh, Christiane. Um, is there anything else you would like to tell us? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I'm just really sorry for people who have a really wrong opinion made by tabloids, you know, about Michael. But on the other hand, I understand it because 
how people would write or to buy newspaper whereas written microjects as a pedophile or had one million plastic surgeries then newspapers where is written Michael Jackson is amazing father or good to friends to his friends you know but for example how many people know that he was white because uh, he was sick he had a bit illegal um, they I think almost nobody know that he was proud to be black American yeah interesting so uh, as you know I worked for Michael Jackson I, I yeah made, I made a film about him and I've also yeah. watched I've watched how the tabloids just kind of trashed his life and and really hurt him and and the tabloids did it just for financial gain and I, I guess they can do that to a lot of people and maybe it's a lesson that you have to realize that the tabloids are just trying to make money and they may exaggerate things that aren't true yeah that's totally true and he has also very good uh, very good song name is Double Junkie and they're written is because you're reading a magazine and see it, see it on a TV screen to make it factual or actual yeah no. well, very, very good yeah. Thanks so much for your story. Any uh, last thoughts? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I just want to say, like, you know, it's so painful and sad for everybody uh, who loved him or who knew Michael Jackson. But as his mom, Catherine Jackson, said, life goes on, but it's never going to be the same. And it's like having a ring and one diamond is missing. It's true. I also cry very often for him. I miss him so much. Incredible. And it, it has to be incredibly painful for his children. He has three amazing children. He loves, he really loves children. And I think uh, everybody who worked with, for Michael Jackson and saw him in a relationship with his children has to has to know that too. Well, very good. By the way, it's 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 noon here in California. What time is it there in Czechoslovakia? Oh, um, it's Slovakia, not Czechoslovakia. Uh, it's nine twenty-one p.m. Nine o'clock, did you say? Yeah. At night. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks very much. I'm gonna start uh, stop the recording, but we could still talk a little bit after I stop the recording. Okay. 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 Say bye to the folks in TV land. Bye. Uh. <laughs>